Prince Harry wants to reform the press, but he should focus on the monarchy. The press was often fairer, more supportive, and generous to Harry and Meghan than he makes out. Prince Harry claims Prince William took a secret payout from tabloids. For a man who prefers the media to keep out of his life, Prince Harry certainly seems to be doing a poor job of keeping his head down. He is, if you haven't noticed, conducting a campaign to reform the British press, and he is inevitably going to fail. Indeed, his current legal cases against the respective publishers of The Sun, Mail and The Mirror only serve to furnish them with more material, more headlines, more dramatic pictures and more sensationalism. He is in fact a working, talking story generator who needs hacking when Harry is ready to reveal the most intimate of secrets. He is the only member of the House of Windsor to have done this on the scale he has, dishing out astonishing stories about, for example, a racist comment by a member of his family about Archie's skin color, the fight, physical and otherwise, he had with his brother, William, their estranged relationship, the hush money the new Prince of Wales allegedly took from Rupert Murdoch, what the Queen wanted him to do about the reptiles, and why his father, now King, is such a coward and Queen Camilla such a villain. He spills more beans than a distracted Haynes employee. Prince Harry should better understand that the media works by selling stories, and every time he files a legal petition, writes a book, or bangs out a Netflix documentary, he is selling papers and attracting more clicks. He is, as we say these days, he is so good for traffic. Oh, that's probably not what he had in mind when he embarked on his crusade. But even if it was, and it has had a second consequence of embarrassing his family and damaging the institution of monarchy, he simply cannot win. The British press has resisted every attempt to civilize and restrain it and indeed to make it operate within the law and every attempt has been at best only partially or temporarily successful. A free society needs a free press and that unfortunately contains elements that are irresponsible, intrusive and cruel. Much of what Harry and Meghan say about the media is demonstratively fair, but their error is in believing that they, even in alliance with other celebrities, can muzzle the, the, the feral beast. He says, at no point did I have a girlfriend or a relationship with anyone without tabloids getting involved and ultimately ruining that relationship. Or he said, trying to ruin it using whatever unlawful means at their disposal. That is true. But his court case isn't going to change a thing, even if it, even if he wins it. As Charles and William have reluctantly realized, um, they have to find a way of living with the scum of the earth in the media. Besides, the press was often fairer, more supportive and generous to Harry and Meghan than he makes out. You know, when he was at Eton, he was mostly left alone, and it is no one's fault, but he's that he smoked cannabis when he dressed up as a Nazi for a fancy dress party that was his own youthful folly. Nobody forced Harry and his latest squeeze to do or to go to nightclubs. And then, when the time came for him to marry Meghan, the coverage was as warm and frowning as the British tabloid press can be.